Hello everyone! Jess here of Glam Formation Makeup by Jess. It's been a while and I hope to do it today na to. I have with me my beautiful model, Amjoy, and for today I will share how I do my kilegos for my lovely clients. So stay tuned as I share the products and some techniques. So usually, ginagawa ko ang kilay after magset ng foundation. I also did some baking para mas long lasting. Let's get started! One of my favorites is the MAC Eyebrow Gel. It's super buildable and long lasting. Pwede rin kayo gumamit ng eyebrow gel of your choice, pero I highly recommend this one from MAC. Now this is my Holy Grail Eyebrow Brush from Dress Up. I will start by outlining the brows. Take note that the lines must be precise, so a precise brush is a must. Don't grab a brow brush na mas makapal pa sa mukha ng ex mo. Sa manipis lang tayo mga best! So, kalma lang ang pag-outline, lalo na sa arc. Make it as soft as possible para hindi magmukhang dragon si Kasi. Tandaan mo Kasi, hindi ka mukhang dragon. Kaya, you do not, is my liar, is my fake! Well, seriously, pag sobrang makanto ang kilay, mukha siyang mandirigma. So, kalma lang. Baka hindi ka papasokin sa eskol. So, as you could see, medyo kanina pa. <laughs> After mag-outline, i-fill na natin ang space between you and me. Charet! Then, blend lang natin ang product while filling in. Blending is the key to achieve your kilay goals, kaya wag mo papagod kaka-blend. Ayan, blend lang ng blend, go lang. Wag umaya sa ex mong napagod sa'yo. Charot! If you noticed, I didn't start at the base of the brows. Sobrang dark kasi ng magiging base outline kung dun tayo mag-start. This time, gagamitin natin ang latak na brow gel sa brush para gumawa ng outline papunta sa base para ma-achieve natin ang gradient effect. Then, same thing goes. Blend lang tayo and fill in ang mga parts na may butas. Now, I'll use a disposable mascara wand to even out the product. Then, let's repeat the process on the other side of the brows. Make sure that the base, arc, and tail are identical. Identical as in they are, if not, almost the same. Tip! Kung sobrang di pantay ang kilay mo o ng client mo, choose a certain part na tingin mo maganda ang hulma and yun ang gawin mong basis sa paggawa ng kabilang side. Pag may certain part naman ng kilay na butas kasi sobrang nipis ng kilay, I-fill in din natin yun at huwag hayaang sundin na lang ang original shape ng kilay kasi malamang sa malamang, hindi talaga yan magpapantay. And guys, by the way, kung gusto ninyong mag-enroll sa one-on-one -on -one makeup workshop with me in my studio, send me a PM para mas efficient and effective ang tutorial natin. Enroll na, promise, mura lang. May mga slots pa tayo, so PM na! Now, let's do the final touch-up and check if they are already identical. Alright, but wait, there's a bonus! Gagamit tayo ng hatching technique para magmukhang bushy brows. Kailangan mo ng super nipis na kilay brush para dito. Do it gently and precisely para natural pa rin tignan. Konting product lang ang gagamitin natin para di sobrang dark ang kalabasan. And you better start from the inner part para gradient effect. From this to this, you could clearly see the difference, right? Well, this hatching technique really works for me. Pero di ko naman sinasabi na this would work for everyone. Now, let me know kung anong mas preferred ninyo. May hatching technique or wala? Comment down below! Continue doing it on the other side and presto! Kilay goals achieved! 
Thank you so much guys for watching my video. I hope you guys liked it and let me know kung nakatulong ito by leaving a comment. This has been Jess of Glam Formation Makeup by Jess. Follow me on my social media accounts. Everything is at Glam Formation Makeup by Jess. Please give this a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and click the bell. Bye-bye. See you soon and God bless.